Horses are on the track for the first division of the Jagat. Three-year-old Philly Pacers sponsored by Tanner Sows in the Red Mile. Total purse today, $300,671. This division for $36,081. First three finishers return for race 12, the second heat. These are the horses, number one, Eternal Camnation. Home to the Eternal Camnation stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jeff Miller drives. 14 of 20 lifetime. 941,000 to mark 151 and 2 at Woodbine. Number one, Eternal Cam Nation and Eric Ludford. Number two, Lady of the Sea. Fielding a quiet about an Ontarian Stuart for lot of Orlando, Florida. Two for lot trains. One of 11 lifetime, 159 at the worth the downs. Number two, Lady of the Sea and Tony Kerwood. Number three, Living with Art. Brittany Farms for sales, Kentucky Blair Burgess drives. Six of 21 lifetime, 328,000 in earnings, 151 at Woodbine. Number three, Living with Art and Dave Pallone. Number four, Reimburse. Perfect World Enterprise in Old Westbury, New York. Carl Conte trains. 7 of 27 a lifetime. 357,000 earnings. 151 at the Meadowlands. Number four, reimburse and Ronnie Pierce. Number five, only the best. Jeffrey Langfelder and Ephraim Spielman of Atlanta, Georgia. Joe Anderson trains. 10 of 20 lifetime. Earnings of $104,000. 150 and four at Woodbine. Number five, only the best, and John Kimball. And number six, musical dreamer. Ree Lapine Stable, Jay Sanders, Shoot the Moon Stable, and Lightning Five Stable. Ron Coyne Jr. Turing's 11 of 20 lifetime. Earnings of $333,000, a mark of 150 and four at Balmoral. Number six, musical dreamer, and David Miller. The gate twins into the stretch, and here they come. First division, the Jagat. They're up and pacing. That's living with art. Going for the lead. Eternal Cam Nation on the inside. Outside, musical dreamer. Three wide. Lady of the Sea gets away. Fourth, reimbursed. Fifth, only the best. Trails the field. Racing to the back side of the first quarter mark. Up on the outside, musical dreamer and David Miller. Now to take the lead. Racing second, Eternal Cam Nation. Living with art. Races third. Lady of the Sea fourth. Opening quarter to speed. 26 and 3. He of the turn. Racing fifth. Reimburse. To run in the field. Only the best. As they race around the turn. John Campbell from way back is moving. Only the best. Now six. Now fifth on the outside. Passing it into the first time. Eric Ludford moves Eternal Cam Nation to the outside. Musical dreamer on the inside. Second. Halfway home in 55. 28 and 2, second quarter. Racing third, living with art. Only the best up on the outside, fourth, as the race to the back side. Reimburse comes to the outside, fifth. Treading the field, Lady of the Sea, down the back side. Only the best once again to the outside, fourth. But on the front end, it's Ledford of Eternal Cam Nation opening up at the three quarters. One, 23 and one. Into the final turn, on top of the field, Eternal Cam Nation, racing second, early the best, moving on the outside third, that's reimbursed, living with art, racing fourth, down the stretch they come, no question about the winner, Eternal Cam Nation, they're fighting for the second and third spots, Eternal Cam Nation, only the best, and reimbursed, will come back for the second heat, one, 52 and 3, equaling the stakes record for the Jughead. Go. Winner of the first division of the Jughead. Number one, Eternal Cam Nation.
by the Eternal Damnation Stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana. GF Miller trains Eric Ledford in the Saki. Three-year-old Philip McCann the cool world. A winner in 152, three-fifths. Final half, 57 and three. Final quarter, 29 and two. Equaling the state's record for the Jaguette with the mile. That is the third win and eight starts this season for Eternal Cam Nation. Eric Ledford in the Salki getting his fourth win of the week here at Delaware. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get a bigger winner circle. Looks like the whole infield is filled up here. Yeah. The stands are almost empty right now as everybody from uh, from uh, Haviland, Ohio, which is very close to uh, the Indiana border there from the Eternal Cam Nation stable in the winner's circle. Lots of smiles on the faces. Like Ellie talked about, Jeff Miller said this is the one race that we've pointed her for all year long. And I'll tell you what, she was just flat out awesome in this first delay. Yeah, she's going to be uh, tough to handle in the uh, in the final coming up because she was simply sensational there, 152 and three, and uh, should have plenty left in the tank because in the stretch she was pretty much cruising. Jim Hardesty, the man that uh, bought Eternal Cam Nation, was a groom and a second trainer for Jeff Miller, and uh, they worked together for a long time. Thanks, guys. Well, I spoke with Jeff Miller yesterday. I saw the filly. I watched her warm up. Jeff, you told me you were pointing her towards this race. Did you expect this type of performance? She equaled the stakes record, and it's a national season's record for three-year-old fillies. No, I really didn't. I, I, I thought I had a real good chance of winning. Like I said, I had a lot of confidence in the horse and in Eric. But uh, with as windy as it is today, I, I thought this was a huge effort. And I, I did notice a little smile on Eric's face. So I, I think he's got more confidence now. So. When you and I spoke yesterday, we had talked about her two-year-old season. She was the two-year-old pacing filly of the year. And she's had her complications early in the season. You as a trainer, it just must take an unbelievable amount of patience to, to figure out what's wrong. Well, with like any woman, she's making me have patience, you know. I mean, whether I want to have him or not, she's forcing me to have him, but it's, uh, it's worth it. When you had her out of the stall yesterday, she seemed to be such a well-mannered filly, and, and she shows that out on the racetrack. Has she been like that from the beginning? Excuse me, I, I, I couldn't hear you. Has she been a well-mannered filly from the beginning of the, her, you know, her yearling year? Because she was well-mannered at the barn yesterday. She seems to be well-mannered on the track. Has she always had that type of mannerism? Yeah, uh, she's always been a well-mannered mare. Uh, when we break them, I, we take a long process of teaching them manners, and uh, I think she's just an example. You know, we we don't worry too much about speeds. We do class and and, and patience and and uh, being behaving because sometimes the manners cost you races and, and uh, but she you know she has a lot of class about herself and she seems to carry herself that way. Second heat coming up what do you expect? Uh, I expect another I expect a speed duel on the front end I, I don't know I, I I'm kind of fabricated by the the way she raced there you know I, I thought she'd give a big effort but I didn't think it'd be quite that big. Congratulations winning the first heat post parades up next for the second division of the Jughead. 